So I did the experiment again. Um, this time I decided I'll do six of the three centimeter cube and six of the one centimeter cube uh, because it was going to take too long to add the two centimeter and I wasn't going to get any additional information from that. So I started with the correct quantities which was um, to 500, four, 400 milliliters of water and 100 because I doubled up this. I didn't triple it, I doubled it. But when I put it in the container, it didn't fit. So I had to add, had to add another 200 milliliters of water. I left it for 10 minutes and then I cut them. I just cut a slither off the side of each cube and um, to see how far it's gone in. So that's an example there. Um, I did wear gloves this time, which helped. So there's some interesting things. You can see where the potato has been damaged, maybe because I was poking it to see whether it had cooked through um, some of them. And so that's something I could probably mention in my discussion. If there is a... If there's, if there's damage in that cell, remember this is imitating the cell. So if there's damage in that cell membrane, stuff can get in, which you don't want necessarily to get in. Um, I did the same and cut up the little ones. And what I did in the end, because my eyesight's not so good, is I, here's this one, is I ended up putting this here like that and taking a really close-up photo of it and so I'm going to use the photos to determine the distance the die moved I'm supposed to cut the whole thing and work out the volume of the white cube but um, I don't need to do it because it's all the same well eyeballing it it's all the same so I'm just going to do one and I'm going to use that for all six that's also just to save me time um, but they all look very similar in terms of how far the die has moved in to each of them. The little cubes are the same, right? The distance that the, the die moved in is the same regardless of the size of the cube. But that's not the point. The point is that if I left it for long enough, the little one... The volume versus the surface area is what I need to calculate to see the difference between between those um, those two, and that's what we'll assess statistically to see if there is a difference. 